All right, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project, and we have a possible another lunar wave. As I have said before, I will not be vetting other people's work um, unless I'm asked to contribute something, but I'm hoping the community and the filmers themselves will vet uh, potential lunar waves. If this is vetted as a real wave, it is a heck of a catch. If it was shot in full frame, it would certainly rival the 2012 footage, which is the best we have, and here it's going to come at the lower right right about now all right watch it as it goes into the upper left corner you will see clouds pass between us and the wave left to right and there's a few clouds and here come a few more very interesting here comes the second wave down at the lower right to the upper left on the diagonal very distinct very defined uh, Chris Parker I spoke with him a uh, very nice young man um, I take everyone at their word till I have a reason not to. I have no reason to believe that this is not legitimate footage. And what's kind of astounding is Chris shot this with a 90 millimeter telescope. If I remember correctly, I think that's three and a half inches. Maybe it's four. I think it's three and a half. I didn't look. And he shot the actually recorded with a cell phone on that 3.5 inch telescope. So this really demonstrates what people can achieve uh, with out breaking the bank on equipment. So we're going to take a couple more looks here in this particular thing. I have uh, inverted the footage, brightness, contrast to bring up the clouds. Look at the upper left here. Let's watch the clouds pass from left to right as I zoom in and I will run it forwards and backwards. You can see the clouds coming in over the wave or in between us and the wave or the point of view we have and the wave. Here it comes backwards again and we'll run it forwards and then I'll zoom out to full frame for the second wave to come in right here. And I've added some color to help maybe define it a little bit more. If in fact this is a real lunar wave, it is a heck of a catch. And uh, I always say try to film the moon in full frame. But you may not always have that option. I'm not sure what Chris can do with his cell phone attached to his te telescope. Here's the final view. I have sharpened and done some brightness and contrast work to help define it a little bit more, I hope. And again, head over to Chris Parker's YouTube channel called Chris Parker. Uh, I had to download this, which means it's already been encoded a couple times before I encode it. Uh, I'm sure that the versions that he's running, I believe he has two posted. Uh, he shot this on Friday the 13th at 1022 in the evening, I believe, in North Carolina. So there it is, man. Well done, sir. Went to his channel, and he's got quite a bit of video posted through his scope, so this young man is doing the work. We'll close out with the 2012 lunar wave, which is the best example we have now. Uh, although, if that last video is real and it was shot uh, in full frame, it would certainly rival this, I would estimate. Anyhow, episode number nine on my podcast, Crow 777 Radio, will be covering viewer questions. I asked subs to submit questions, and they submitted a lot of them. So episode number nine, I will be answering just, it's, a, it's such a wide scope of topics. And that will be coming out, oh, in the next two, three days. First hour will run here, and the second hour will run on Crow 777 Radio. Dot com. Sorry, I almost forgot it there for a second. And uh, cheers to everybody.